everyone in this video we are going to discuss lead code problem cherry pickup so this problem is solved using dynamic programming let's first discuss the description of the problem so the problem is as follows you are given a n cross n grid where indices are from 0 to n minus 1 of the rows and columns and each element of the grid is either 0, minus 1 or 1 where 0 represents an empty cell that you can pass through and if the grid entry is minus 1 then that entry represents that it contains a thorn and it's kind of a blocking path you can't enter that cell and if the entry is 1 it represents that that particular cell contains a cherry and you can pick up that cherry and after you pick up that cherry the cell gets empty so it returns to it zero state and your ultimate goal is to maximize the amount of cherry that you can collect and you have to follow certain rules in order to maximize this amount so the first rule is that you have to start from the position 0 comma 0 and then you have, you can either move from this position either move right or downwards and then you have to ultimately reach n minus 1 comma n minus 1 and after reaching n minus 1 comma n minus 1 you can move either left or up and you have to move from n minus 1 comma n minus 1 to your starting position 0 comma 0 so this is our 0 comma 0 position and in this case this is our n minus 1 comma n minus 1 position so if there is no such valid path exists for example if like there is no path from start to end because of thorns because blocks are blocked then you simply return zero that you can't collect any cherries else you return the maximum amount of cherries that you can collect so in this case for example let's say you first go from here so you collect this cherry then you go from here to here then you collect this cherry then you go from here to here you collect this cherry then you go from here to here you collect this you go from here to here you collect this and you return back to start so in this case the answer is 5 so basically you can collect all of these cherries in this case and now let's discuss that how could we solve this problem using dynamic programming so first of all we have to find a unique state for the dynamic programming So, so what we are going to do, we are going to play a little trick that instead of assuming that first we come from 0, 0 to n minus 1, n minus 1 and then back to 0, 0, we assume that we move from 0, 0 to n minus 1, n minus 1 two times because moving from n minus 1 comma n minus 1 to 0 comma 0 this transition is equivalent to moving from 0 comma 0 to n minus 1 comma n minus 1 using right or down steps so any path from n minus 1 comma n minus 1 to 0 comma 0 using left or up steps can can be visualized as a 
path from 0 0 to n minus 1 comma n minus 1 using right or down steps so we can visualize this problem as if we are moving from 0 0 to n minus 1 comma n minus 1 two times but we have to realize that that once we pick a cherry in the first round we can't pick that cherry again because that that cell becomes 0 from 1 so we have to take care of that corner case can't pick a cherry twice so a unique state of the DP would be that so we would assume that there are two people who are starting from 0 comma 0 and both of them has to reach n minus 1 comma n minus 1 and an, a unique state would be this r1 c1 r2 c2 basically the rows and columns of the two people this would be a unique state and using this unique state basically we have we have order of n raised power 4 dp in terms of space which we can reduce to order of n cube by observing that each time if either the person moves right or if either the person moves down in either of the cases the distance to the destination distance to destination n minus 1 comma n minus 1 decreases by 1 with each step so what I am trying to stay, say is that at every point r1 plus c1 would be equals to r2 plus c2 in other words we could say that the manhattan distance from ori origin for the first person would same as manhattan, manhattan distance from origin for the second person at every point so this reduces our dp to three dimensional dp because we could only 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 create a dp for our state r1 c1 and c2 because r2 can already can automatically be deduced from above equation if we know the values of r1 c1 and c2 so with this observation we need to see the transitions of the dynamic programming problem and basically our transitions would be as follows so let's say we are at r1 c1 and c2 so this is our current state then we can calculate r2 to be r1 plus c1 minus c2 and so basically if we have a cherry at this place so basically let's say our answer initialized to 0 then if there is a cherry at r1 comma c1 basically if our grid position r1 comma c1 is 1 we add that to answer and to take care that we don't add the same cherry twice that is if both people are not on the same standing on the same location that is if r2 is not equals to r1 because if r1 is equal to r2 then c1 is automatically equals to c2 using this relation then we also add grid of r2 comma c2 
that we also pick up the cherry at that location if it exists and after picking up the cherry for the current state so this is answer for current state we have to maximize the so either we can either the first person can move right and second person can move right or first person can move right second person can move down so both person are moving independently so first person can move down and second person can move right or first person can move down and second person can also move down so these are the four possibilities that we will consider at every step and whichever will give us the maximum answer we'll consider that so basically so we will recursively call the function for so right right both moves to the right so the column increases for both so r1 comma c1 plus 1 comma c2 plus 1 right comma down is basically r1 comma c1 plus 1 and then r2 plus 1 automatically changes if we if we just take c2 here it becomes r2 plus 1 so down and right so down means r1 plus 1 c1 and right means we increase column down and down means r1 plus 1 c1 we increase row we don't increase column so these are the transitions and basically out of these transitions we take that transition which gives us the maximum answer and we will whatever with the maximum of these four scenarios we will take that transition and we will add it to answer and we return answer So this is the high level algorithm. I guess it's quite clear to you. Now let's try to see this algorithm in code. So let's try to see this algorithm in code. So we are given the constraints that the size of the grid can be at most 50. So we initialize dp of size 50 cross 50 cross 50 to store our result for the state r1 c1 and c2 so this is the state and this is the grid which we will store so here we will store the size of the grid given grid in n then we set our grid to be g we initialize our dp array with minus one and then we call our helper function if the answer of that helper function is negative that means we can't pick any cherry then we return zero otherwise we return whatever our helper function gives so let's come to the main portion of this code which is our helper function here so as discussed the state of the dp contains three things r1 c1 and c2 which denotes the coordinates of the two people and n is the size of the current grid so first we calculate r2 using this formula and if r1 is greater than equals to n r2 is greater than equals to n c1 greater than equals to n c2 greater than equals to n or the current position or first guy is thorn uh, if the first guy is standing at thorn or if the second guy is standing at thorn then we said there we say that we can't we can't come to this state so this state should be made invalid and we make it kind of invalid by returning the negative infinity we say that we can't pick any cherries here so this will not be considered uh, into the max max cases which we'll consider here later in the code then then if you already have the answer for this current state in our dp array in our 3d dp array we return that answer uh, if not so if let's say we have reached 
the final position so if one guy reaches the final position other will also reach the final position because manhattan distance from origin remains the same as we discussed earlier so basically if that position has cherry we simply return cherry otherwise it will return zero so basically we return grid r1 c1 which can be either zero or one so uh, now let's say we initialize our answer with grid r1 c1 which again can be zero or one to this answer we add if 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 the position of two people is different if c1 is not equal to c2 which implies that position of two people is different because if c1 is equal to c2 then r1 would automatically be equal to r2 and we don't want that case so if positions are different we also add the answer the grid the value of grid of the second person which can be again either 0 or 1 and then as discussed in the video earlier we uh, we store in our variable temp the maximum of the four transitions we can make from the state so either both can go right one can go right one down one down one right or both down so these are the four states and whichever of this transition gives the maximum value we take that transition and restore the value in temp and then we add that value to our answer and basically we store that value to our answer and then we return answer so this is our all code for this algorithm i think it's pretty clear to you if you like this video please share it with your friends subscribe and stay tuned as more and more good content is coming soon thank you bye bye